Hey there, Ben Lipper here. Today, I have something really unusual I want to share with you. So usually, you know, when you see videos on YouTube, my videos, other people's videos, they're generally when the robots work well. But what you usually don't see is how they actually got there. I recently had some students asking me, you know, how is it that you make your robots work every single time? And the truth is, they don't. Um, in fact, usually no one's worked the first time, or the second time, or the third time. I mean, I can't tell you how many robots I've actually built this year just because they didn't really work. So today, I want to show you a robot that doesn't work. So here it is. It's, I don't know, it just kind of looks like a normal robot. It's a little bit strange. You've probably never seen a robot looks like it before, and there's probably a reason you've never seen a robot that looks like it before. But I wanted to share it with you so that, you know, you'll look at it and be like, all right, this implementation of it didn't work, but hey, maybe I can take some ideas. I like how this works, or maybe you like how the shooter works, or something like that. So you can take those ideas, make them your own, and then bring them into your own robot and make it even better. So if you're interested for that reason, there's a link under this video still, you can still get pictures of this robot and how it works or how it doesn't work. Um, and then take those and use them as inspiration, see what you can make. This robot itself is not good, but it has a lot of really cool mechanisms that I think you can really get a lot out of, um, which is part of why I want to make this video for you. So let me kind of tell you the story of how this robot works. So once upon a time, I wanted to build a robot that could get the yellow dispenser and the blue dispenser and the purple dispenser. I thought it'd be so cool. You get all five dispensers and it would be able to shoot them really fast. This guy's actually got a reasonably fast shooter. Um, it can shoot through all 45 discs in not too much time at all. One of the key challenges this year, though, is the height the yellow dispenser is at, right? You have to lower your tray super low if you're going to be able to get those discs from the yellow dispenser. The blue dispensers, on the other hand, are super high up there, right? If you have your tray, like, on the floor and you dump from the blue dispenser in, usually the discs kind of bounce and splash all over the place and you lose some, unless you have really high walls. So I thought, hey, rather than making really big walls, what if I make the bucket go up and down? Sounds like a silly idea. I thought it was silly at the time, but I was like, hey, maybe it works. Let's give it a try. And so I did. So you can see the bucket actually moves up and down like this. And it can get discs from the yellow dispenser when they come out and get discs from the blue dispenser. Now, where did this robot have its issues? It started having issues when it came to actually triggering the dispensers. This robot is kind of close to size box, as you can see. And because of that, I don't have a whole lot of extra room to put a dispensing mechanism on to like actually trigger the dispensers. Also, I started running out of motors. This robot's got four motors on it already. It's gonna need a fifth one for that purple dispenser. I couldn't find anything to multiplex it off of. And so I only have one motor left and I have to do the end game mechanism where you touch the zone and I have to trigger the blue dispenser and I have to trigger the yellow dispenser. And I might be able to get some kind of arm, and I'm going to leave that to you to explore and see, you know, will it work? Can you do that with one motor? Could we repurpose a motor? Maybe that still has a lot of potential. I'm not entirely sure, but I kind of wanted to put this out there and give it to you and say, hey, you know, I didn't get this to work. Maybe if we spent more time on it together, though, we can put um, what we've learned together and make something even better. You know, robotics isn't really about... Like, hey, what's the best thing I can do by myself behind closed doors? It's really about um, cooperation and collaboration. And so I figured, hey, you know, why don't I throw this out here, see what everyone builds. And if this is inspiration to you and you build something like it and it works great, that's fantastic. If it doesn't, you know, hey, it's a learning experience for both you and me. So I just wanted to kind of give it to you for that reason. Additionally, one thing this robot does do really well that maybe you'll like is it's able to actually funnel those discs into that magazine, that big tel shooter thing, actually really well. So if you watch, it just kind of wiggles that arm back and forth just like that, and it's actually able to knock them into that tower, and then it's able to shoot them out pretty cleanly and really fast, actually. So another cool thing about this robot. Now, some people look at this robot and say, whoa, that robot was a total failure. And maybe it was, but <laughs> the way I like to look at it is it was a learning experience for me. I learned a huge amount in this robot. I learned a new shooter design. I learned its limitations. I learned a new way of getting the discs into the magazine, into that big tower. And I learned some ways that work for that and learned some ways that don't. I also learned what makes a bucket that goes up and down so challenging because you have to now clear out that arc. You have to make sure that it doesn't hit anything as it's moving. Um, and I learned how challenging it is to collect discs from all five dispensers consistently. 
I mean, I didn't even get the purple dispenser working because the blue and yellow dispenser were working so awful. I figured, you know, hey, we're going to take a break from this robot. Maybe I'll come back to it later. Maybe I won't. But it's time to start working on something else. So, like I said before, if you're interested in this robot, you're thinking, hey, you know, maybe it's got some good ideas. Maybe it doesn't, but at least I want to check it out some because it looks kind of cool. There's a link in the description. You can go ahead and click that. Um, I'll send you all the details on this robot, all, at least all of the ones I have so far. Other than that, though, thank you so much for watching. As always, like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing what you build.